Okay, so welcome to this. <laughs> I'm so shy because you're here watching me. Um, welcome to today's YouTube channel, guys. Um, I'll be doing an upper body day. I don't know if you all know, but I've been extremely busy, so I'm not able to do a push pull legs routine, which I usually really love. And since I'm so busy, I've been doing an upper lower split. So I do upper lower twice a week. So I'm in the gym four times a week. And I'm just going to show you all what a typical good upper body would look like. I know there's still a lot of people out there that don't know how to, I don't want to say coordinate, but know what exercises or how you should train during an upper body day. And just so you all know, you could still make gains on an upper lower split. So yeah, I'm just getting started. I'm just warming up. I'll probably show you all a warm up for each exercise and a working set. And I'm going to try to give some tips and, you know, some form tips and just anything I could think about that you could benefit from, from any exercise I do today. So yeah, let's go. I'm starting off with incline Smith machine bench press. And usually I'd like to do dumbbell press and oh my God, this music is so loud. Yeah, so usually I'd actually prefer to do a dumbbell incline press, but I've been doing that for quite some time. So I'm just gonna do Smith machine just to change it up. And I'll probably do this for the next few weeks. Then I'll change it back to dumbbells again. But I do prefer doing dumbbells because I just feel like I get a greater stretch. But you could also make the argument and say like a Smith machine, you have more stability because you don't have to worry about using your core. So yeah, I'm not so sure how this is gonna go, but let's see how I do. First hard working set, I'll probably just end up doing two hard sets or maybe three for each exercise, you know, as long as those sets are hard, there's no need to do too many. <laughs> of stuff. So I did six reps with this, so I'll probably try to aim for one more set of six. Then I'll do a drop set of maybe like a plate and a half. Then I'm gonna move on to the next exercise because I don't want to bore you all today, you know? Then moving on to cable machine, what do you call this again? Cable rows, it's a cable machine row. For any cable rows in general, you want to keep your chest up, but you also don't want to flare your ribs too much. There's a fine line between keeping your chest up and flaring your ribs as well. So you just want to keep your chest up and I'm thinking about driving my elbows around my hip area and I'm driving my elbow past my back. So chest up, not flaring your ribs. Get that nice stretch. The coffee is in me right now. I feel that caffeine, but we got my first working set. I'm not trying to be a pussy, so I almost have this machine fully stacked. And if you're not using the straps while doing back exercises by now, you're an idiot, okay? So, but I don't want, you know what is, I know there might be some people that are thinking, hey man, like, what about my grip strength? Bro, just train your grip strength separately, okay? Stop being an idiot, man. All right, first working set. Let's go. <sighs> Okay, so I don't know if it's because I'm filming content today and I'm loving filming it. Or the caffeine, or the fact that I'm listening to Kanye right now, or all three together. And of course, I think my back is a weak point. So I have this machine fully stacked for my second to last working set before I do a drop set. And I just thought I should show you all. So let's get into this, man. I eat having a weak back. Hopefully one day my back is like my strongest muscle group, so. Fully stacked machine here. Yeah. 
it from there. Fuck. So next up we got shoulder press. I haven't been doing much shoulder press, so I thought I should do it today. And I'm actually gonna be super setting this with bicep curls. So again, just a warm up. I warm up with 45 pounds. If you all think this is a lot of weight, for me it's not. I've been training for a while, eight years, so. Anyways, let's go. So for shoulder press, you don't wanna have your arms at a 90 degree angle, 45 degree angle, best. Less risk of injuring yourself. And I'm focusing on that full range of motion. Nice, slow, eccentric. At least three to four seconds on the way down. First working set now. Again, I just didn't want to be a pussy, so originally I did what in, originally I did want to do 80 pounds. And I'm like, you know what, fuck it, I'm doing 85 pounds, we ball. So first working set, let's try to get as many as I can here, no pussy shit. <coughs> Ronnie Coleman didn't get big being a pussy, you know? Lightweight, baby! Oh my God. 10 reps of 85 felt easy, so I'm gonna move up, man. And first working for bicep curls, we got 80 pounds. Fuck. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, so I guess we could say the vibe of today is no position. So I moved up to 95 and this will probably be my last working set. So it'll only be two shoulders. It'll only be two shoulder sets today. And yeah, that's okay, man. Still gonna make gains doing this. <sighs> Oh my God. Okay. So I only got five reps, so I'll actually go drop set for shoulders. So, okay, let's move on to same bicep curl. I'll stick to ET though, but I'm not gonna show you all that on camera. Again, I'm not trying to bore you all. So last two exercises, it's a super set. We got pullovers for the back, because again, I think my back is a weak point. So the only muscle group I'm doing two exercises for is my back. Then I got tricep cable pushdowns, which I'm gonna show you all after, so. I'm jumping straight into a working set here, actually. At this point, I'm quite exhausted, I must say. Hey, you wanna keep your chest up and hinge your hip as much as you can. Think about driving your elbows into your hips. this machine okay let me just move this a bit okay and i'm gonna show you all my work inside for my triceps as well this is also a work inside i did do my warm-up sets i just didn't show it on camera I'm pretty gassed out, especially my arms. I feel like I can't move my arms. But that's it for my upper body workout. I'm sure 
hopefully I don't have any form police people like watching me, you know, because I know there must have been certain exercises where my form probably broke down by 20%, which I think is okay. You know, fuck that science-based shit. I, I am science-based, but like your form doesn't have to be perfect 100% of the time. As long as you're pushing yourself, the intensity is there. Look at the golden era guys, Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler, all these guys, like they trained their asses off and their form wasn't perfect. So I, I think I can, I'm so out of breath from that workout. As long as there's like some science-based information that you're considering while training, which I think I do, I think you'll be fine. But that's it for today's upper body workout. There's no need to do a, a bunch of exercises for your upper body workout. Usually I, like today, I think I did um, one exercise per muscle group and I did two exercises for my back because I think my back is a weak point. So my following upper body day of the week, I'll probably change that around and maybe instead I will do, what's the next weak point of mine? Um, my chest. I'll do two chest exercises instead of two back exercises. Or I might actually always just do two back exercises because I think my back is like so fucking weak. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. And until next time, peace.